Right, check out my 2019 no lead. It will be a no lead if I'm not. So it's a lift off, which so everything drop out. Something heavy stuck in the top. This is. Should have opened it, shouldn't I? Instead, but never mind. That's the TV in there then. And that's the thing we're lifting it off. I should have undone the box first, shouldn't I? And got the bits out the top because the rest of it's stuck in the top. Luckily, it didn't drop down. So there are bits stuck in the top that are heavy. Luckily, they didn't drop in the TV. I should have opened it at the top and got the bits out first. Never mind. That's the polystyrene. So, remote, pack, and stand. Heavy pedestal base, central one. Oh, it's nice having a breeze from that. Bit of alley. So, I'm guessing that's the part that attaches to the TV with four holes. Not sure what part that is, but I guess something there is going to attach to it. That's the screw hole cover. Yep, the back plate. I think this is going to be part of the pedestal. Pedestal base, that's what I was saying. I didn't see a quick setup guide like I do with the Samsungs, but I'll guess my way through it. Right, so I'll just get a quick close up of that as well. Can you see? It's, you can see it's being milled out of one piece of aluminium there. You can just see the milling marks, so it does feel quite nice quality. Uh, but that should, I'll just bring it back to the floor, locate into there, he says. That's it, like that. And I guess there's going to be screws that go through to attach it and that will attach to the TV, four holes there. Leave that there a second and get the remote out. Magic remote as they call it. see that there. So it's pretty similar to last year's magic remote. It'll be the STB on off, normal on off, channel numbers, sound, channels, microphone button uh, for voice interaction, home button, uh, Netflix and Prime Video quick buttons, uh, input button in there, movies, I'm not sure what that is yet but I'm sure we'll soon find out and I'm guessing Get the plastic off the back. Cool. In the pack, that's nothing. 
warning about cleaning the TV, don't pour a glass of water over it. Registration, nothing in there. Looking for a quick guide to assembling the stand because I've not done one before. So it shows you there, base and other parts. So, yeah, three screws through the bottom of that part into the aluminium front portion. One, two, three. Um, and put my TV onto it as normal. Two man lift. That should be cool. So, that's left in here. It is double A batteries for the remote. Some machine screws in there. I'll get those out. So three recesses there. That aluminium part is tapped and threaded. So that's the pedestal base all assembled. So all it's got to do now is TV's going to hook onto it and there's going to be four screws through the back into the TV which are in that pack there. I think they're just M4 screws. Cool. Quick close up. tricky bit we'll have to pull the bag down reach in we've got underneath it there's a well there isn't there underneath we'll lift that out let the bag drop So there's two pegs that locate in some slots there somewhere. And if I get my head there, it's trapping my finger. Is that there? I think I'm on. That's it, it's a bit tricky. I don't want to do that one on your own. That's it. I'll just pop those four screws in. One, somebody say ice cream. That's that, and then. Last thing, screw cover, four protruding tabs there. There should be four slots in there. Two tabs for unclipping afterwards. That just ties it up. Looks quite nice from the back actually, as far as the TV can look from the back. So we'll just get a quick closely up here. So a quick look at it close up. Still got the screen protector on it. Cool. 
Right, so looking at the back, it's got four HDMI's as normal. Uh, Analog audio out. Digital optical audio out. Satellite in. Antenna in. Uh, that's HDMI 4 on the back. Two USB 2's I'm guessing. So going to the side of it. If we can. Two more HDMI's. Number 2 being ARC. Doesn't say ARC but it may be. Uh, and a third USB there. USB number 1. PC slot that we don't use uh, and just looking up on the TV it has got a protective layer on the back of it as well you'd peel off but I'm going to leave it on because it's in a retail environment All right. I did miss as well on the back of that pedestal there is a plastic channel guide and now I figured out how to take it off so that's a bonus two protruding tabs there into those slots two sort of lugs there into those rubber holes there that's it Cool. So, got the protective screen layer. Shame the pretty stickers have come off with it as well. Double A batteries into the remote. That should have done a minute ago off camera, but never mind. So while that's booting up, all I've connected is an aerial cable. LAN cable and mains. The remote seems to be out, that's it. Set up as home to start with. Wide internet. Interest-based adverts. I'll leave it all on for now. So we're going to get spammed to hell. The TV has found not connected devices, which it should find an aerial. TV only. Right, so if you've got multiple antennas in your region, it will pick up multiple regions. So pick your region, which mine will be Yorkshire and possibly Leeds. Preparing your 
excited in your bed, and I got to... From Spam, but it wasn't just a, a large number of MPs that didn't like the agreement. So now that's our standard pitch settings. I'm just going to turn up sound so we can hear the audio. Uh, she managed to unite the whole country against this dreadful treaty. I mean, that's because lots of people aren't willing to compromise, are they? As you say, people don't like it for different reasons. Uh, some people want a no-deal Brexit. Others don't want Brexit to happen at all. And whoever's the next leader is going to have to deal with that, aren't they? Well, there are differences over what we would like the future to be, the but there was a lot oh, of agreement sorry, about what was eco wrong mode. with the treaty. Turn that down. And we kept explaining to her that this wasn't legal. Don't want to do Google Assistant at the minute. So, default mode is actually eco mode. I'm going to change that. Have a look. That cinema is a quite brown hue. That would be adjusted, I think, for normal TV viewing. Sports. I wouldn't have that on sports, but never mind. Game. Looks a bit more natural actually on there. A bit soft. HDR effect. Brown again. No. Trying to find standard. That's standard pitch mode there. So next thing I'm going to do, just quickly try the retail demos. Can't remember where it is. Store mode. Yes.
Hey, just have a quick look at the smart landed. stuff. So pretty much same as last year. Now TV. I don't know if they had Now TV last year, but it's not Now TV. Netflix. Prime Video. I play ITV for my five recruiting gallery web browsers. Pretty similar to all the YouTube and stuff like that. I'll just try a quick YouTube clip. If all we do is talk about Brexit, as I stress, all we're doing is handing the keys to number 10 to Jeremy Corbyn. Well, with me is our political correspondent, Jonathan. YouTube. See if I can get a bit of fast moving footage from my friend, my only friend. Ah, <laughs> oh, doesn't pre install the apps then. Okay. Let's try out. Hey. That's a good one to try. That one. I'll try that one because I'm on that as well. Cool. Oh, oh, that's not in 4K. We'll just pause that a second. And maybe that's our internet not buffering up, but we'll soon see. Trying to get pedal in. Does look good and natural on there though, because I've seen the originals. I, I tried it on a Sony XG95 as well, just for a, a sort of motion video, so that looks good to me. I can't okay. see any blurring. I don't know if the Sony was a touch smoother, but that's maybe down to settings, uh, noise reduction settings and so on, weren't removing. And that's footage from a GoPro Hero 7. Come off, come off, but I came off, off yeah. from not pedaling. <sighs> oh. Amazing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ready? This is already linked up to one of the other ones, haven't it? No, 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 we don't have to Go on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We might crash faster. Go on. <sighs> cool. Right, come out of that. Back to normal TV. Oh, not the, I keep pressing the voice button by mistake, not the home button. Home. Live TV is there. What for a privileged few? 
Back to Tresemme. That's it for that. I'm going to do another quick video, just wall mounting it. Uh, it will be brief though, because it's going on that wood panel wall behind it. So, oh Jesus Christ, that's enough of that.